Alright, I am back with a video about the games I've been playing lately, but <laughs> what it has turned into is the games uh, I am not playing anymore um, after what I can only describe as at least temporary live service burnout. Um, I am obviously pretty well known for being the guy who plays life, live service games, often no matter how terrible they are, and trying to juggle more than one at a time. Um, I have been playing, you know, my main games right now are Destiny 2, The First Ascendant, and Diablo 4. Um, there have not been too many other games besides those that I've really been interested in, and I have been really uh, enjoying two out of three of those uh, so far um, in the past couple of weeks here. Uh, but... I think I'm I'm starting to burn out on all of them, um, in part from too much playtime in general, in part because of some issues with those games uh, specifically. But I'll, I'll kind of go through my thought process here. Some of this is pretty personal, um, and then some of it, you know, is stuff that's obviously going on with these games. Destiny Two. Um, I'm not burned out in the sense that like I don't. You know, I, I played too much and now I don't want to play anymore. Like, I have not been playing much essentially since Echoes launched, uh, like a lot of people. Uh, the episode launched and, you know, there was stuff to do initially, but it, it's been doing this three week on, three week off thing. And, uh, you know, I, I got enough red borders to craft all the weapons pretty quickly. There's only, only like two I care about that much that seem somewhat better than, than what I'm using already. Uh, and then I haven't really enjoyed the story content. Um, I think the, the volume of stuff they made, the battlegrounds and stuff are um, solid enough content, but essentially what I've been doing is just the bare minimum check-in at this point where if there is new story stuff or whatever at reset, I will log in and play that, but I'm done at most a couple hours later. Uh, I think act three starts next week. I'm not hundred percent sure. So that's uh, three more weeks of stuff, and there's going to be some exotic mission in there that I'm, I'm assuming will be worth playing. But I, I've pretty much tabled all that playtime in favor of first the first ascendant and then uh, Diablo Four. I have 270 hours into the first ascendant, where it's only been out like a month. So like clearly, I went to town on that game. I'm I'm split. Everyone's like, should I play this? And I'm like, eh. It's, it's not for everyone. Like It's for the type of people that are okay with like really, really long grinds for somewhat relatively little rewards, like the type of people who would just grind Borderlands bosses forever to try to get that, that one rare drop, and I know that's not for everyone. Um, I like the first Descendant because it lets you sort of make permanent, meaningful progress on characters, which is something I've, I've been missing in Destiny, where you feel real power gains as you progress through you know, unlocking and getting your characters, even if that process is somewhat frustrating. Um, there's never been a grind I've like fully given up on in that game, even if some of them ended up taking like 30 hours of, of doing the farming loops, which can be exhausting. Um, what I've not really liked is, is what the game becomes eventually, where you have your favorite characters and you, you essentially sort of max them out with prestiging. And in theory, you could rank up XP with like a diverse array of activities, but like this game's all about hyper efficiency. So to do that really fast, you're really only running like speed running two or three different mission types uh, to, to power level characters. If you're, if you're farming for materials, materials or something or drops, that's something else. But to, to level these characters, you have to prestige them like seven, eight, nine, sometimes 10 times to get uh, all the mods you want on a character. And that can be, pretty repetitive and dull when you've done this content so many times. And so I essentially max like one and a half characters. Some others are, are partially there. Uh, and then the gun stuff is interesting because there's really only like a handful of guns that you need at this point, given uh, what's strong and what isn't strong. I think I've maxed like four guns. It's a little easier to max those. And like I unlocked, um, my last thing I did first ascent was I unlocked ultimate Viesa, which was a really long grind. She's still at level one. Like I, that's essentially when I stop playing in favor of Diablo. Uh, it's just, it seems like a lot to start prestiging her just from scratch again, doing all the other stuff again. They're, they had the patch where they added Luna and they added this boss, Gluttony, but 
Luna does not really seem like a character I care that much about, and I've heard she's not very fun to play, even if in some context she can be good. Uh, my plan right now is to wait for season launch, which there's a trailer for it today. There's a new sniper hero ice person named Haley, and then um, it's coming out August 29th, so that's about two weeks away. And that's probably enough time to cool off from it for a while. And I've already been kind of off for like two weeks or so. Um, There was a lot of stuff being added there. I know some additional information under embargo that I can't talk about for a few days, but um, it's a significant update. It's a season launch where we have not had uh, a season launch yet, even though they launched a new character and boss and weapons and stuff. Uh, This is more significant than that as it moves into its full live service era. Uh, Again, I don't, know if it will fundamentally change as much as it needs to i don't even know if it needs to like part of this is just are you still into this grind are you tired of it like you can take breaks come back whatever so again all of these games i'm not saying like i'm never going to play them again it's just uh some of them don't have the content to sustain right now some of them i play too much uh we arrive at diablo 4 where I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to start another character from scratch again. Like, I, And then I'm just, I burned out on the first Ascendant. So I'm like, well, there's nothing to do in Destiny I care about. So let's just do Diablo. And I've been grinding that like crazy where, I don't even know when the season launched, two weeks ago. But I have a, like a level 85 Necro who I didn't like her build. So I switched to a Rogue, got to level 100, finished the Battle Pass, got to level 100 and then some. Got a decent Endarials endgame build. I did sort of hit a damage wall eventually and like i just don't feel like (laughs) crazy grind for incremental increases any further past that so i think i'm pretty done and like i went really really hard on that and part of this is is personal where i've been grinding a lot more than normal like even though my live service stuff uh normally is um i am not in a great situation right now where i had a seizure about a month ago uh, I've, I was, I've said this before, and I was diagnosed with epilepsy a year and a half ago, and then I got on some meds, and I had not had a seizure for a year and a half, and I thought it was good, but I had one um, kind of randomly a um, month ago, and that means I cannot drive for three months, and now I'm one month into that with two months left, and that obviously makes me sad, and when I am sad, I tend to do things like really, really overgrind <laughs> games. Um, Essentially, I've, I've done this with Diablo specifically, like Diablo 2 and 3 during some not great times of my life. I like play the living shit out of those to the point where it was pretty bad. And like, that's also where I sort of feel like I've ended up, especially between the first Ascendant and Diablo 4, and just like how, you know, crazily I've, I've gone into those right now. And that's just probably not what I should be doing. I'd like to take a break and, you know, just... I mean, I've, I've, uh, you know, done some exercise stuff. I'm doing uh, other media stuff. Like, you know, I've, I've even been (laughs) neglecting shows I should be watching and and covering and movies. Um, I'm looking forward to some more chill games than something you have to grind insanely. Like, I'm gonna play uh, Star Wars Outlaws, which the previous set was pretty good, most of them anyway. Um, So I'm looking forward to that. Is like, okay, you can play this for 20 hours and be done. That's nice. I like that. Um, that's sort of, I feel like, what I need right now. And um, Wukong just dropped its reviews, and, like, they're pretty good. Uh, if that was, like, some super, super amazing stellar game, I may have uh, either sought out a review code, which I did not, or, or jumped into that. I don't know if that is really going to be my thing, uh, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that people will uh, enjoy it. Uh, there's also a lot of new information about Dragon Age, the Veil Guard. Um, he didn't drop the the for some reason. That's out Halloween. I don't really like Dragon Age, so that's not really my thing. And those are also like 200 hour games, uh, even if they're single player or like single player thereabouts. And I don't know. I, I kind of bounced off the first one. I did play the second one, which was not amazing. And then I played part of Inquisition but it, it was too slow. It was too it was too plotting for me, and I I just I didn't really like it. It, it won game of the year that year in most outlets, which seems a little crazy to me. But uh, it seems for me like Dragon Age are either zero or one hundred or like you know one hundred and ten percent into it, where you don't really have interest, or like the people that have are really into Dragon Age that where they've been dropping all these trailers and stuff are now like going nuts about like oh this thing's happening, like they brought this person back, and like 
that's awesome. I'm really happy for people uh, to get to play a new Dragon, Dragon Age game again, considering it's been a decade since the last one. And I would love for Bioware to have a hit. Like, Bioware needs a hit. They've been very, very much struggling uh, since the Anthem and Mass Effect Andromeda days. And if they, this is a hit, maybe the next Mass Effect game they're making will be a hit. Anyway, that's a whole big aside about Dragon Age. But uh, the point is, is like this happens every so often with, with a lot of people. Like it's not unusual for people to burn out of a live service game or take a break and come back. And that's what I'm doing. It just doesn't usually happen to me like this. And it doesn't usually happen with three games essentially uh, at the same time. Again, I'm not permanently quitting any of this. Obviously, I'm going to be playing the Diablo expansion uh, this fall. I will go back to the first Ascendant to see how it is after the patch. I will show up and play new story content and the exotic mission for destiny it's just yeah i gotta i gotta be a bit less intense with this stuff for a while i think and uh, do some other stuff i really want to write some more of my book i'm currently working on which has been an eternal struggle for like five years now because it's been really hard to write um but i always want to I, I think i spend too much time avoiding it and i really would like to get that done but anyway so that's I don't know, a mostly personal update of where I am and kind of why I'm I'm not doing as many videos because, uh, I mean, there's, you know, meaning Destiny, there's not a whole lot to talk about right now. I could have made a video about like, oh, Xur's going to sell a fixed roll of an exotic class item once a week and like, eh, <laughs> I guess that, is that where the whole video, does it solve the problem even? Like, no, not really. Uh, Destiny stuff, there will be more to talk about if it's next week, I might be remembering that wrong, or the week after, and then I'll talk about all this other stuff I'm, I'm mentioning too. I don't really do Diablo stuff because like, there's a whole community of like Diablo experts that either A, do stuff a lot better than me, or Diablo video watchers that are like, hey, a lot of people do this stuff better than you. I'm more, I'm more even as much as I play, I'm still more of an amateur Diablo player, uh, so I, I haven't done too many videos on that. First Ascendant, um, there's a lot of videos about builds and stuff, but I think there's there's more to talk about there because it's so new. And yeah, Destiny will always produce something to talk about, just, just less lately. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.